for now, just let's go, let's go to the next uh, section here, and that's the structure section. Now, the tone mapping section has been very sparse, three sliders, and uh, you may say that that's not really what you want to get out of HDR tone mapping, okay? The tone uh, panel was a bit um, basic, yeah? It, it, it only gives you tonal adjustments, just like Lightroom did. A little bit different, uh, as I've told you. But where is the HDR look actually? Okay, and that's where it comes in, the structure panel. That's where the HDR look comes into play. And that um, structure panel has three subsections. Now the first one is called clarity. And that just straightforward does a similar thing to what Lightroom does if you use the clarity slider. It just gives your, your image more crunch. It gives, them, it gives more micro contrast, but in a very subtle way, okay? So once you move that slider to the right, you will actually think that there's more clarity in your image and it removes kind of a, of a haziness that may be um, in your image. So that's a very subtle adjustment that you can start with. But then you have this HDR look and HDR detail sections. Now HDR look, let's, let me just, for, for the fun of it, crank this slider all the way to the right. And you will see immediately that you get this very bad looking HDR effect. And you can also see that it applies not to all sections of your image. Like for example, if you look at the floor here beneath the, the chairs, it's almost unchanged, but the floor here in the middle, it's a high dose of this cr grungy uh, detail kind of look and uh, the uh, ceiling here starts looking horrible with uh, and some of the color noise that we thought we uh, we, we get got rid of comes back here very badly so that's one of those sliders that you should only use a, a very little touch of now if you if you into that look just use it okay I'm totally fine with that, but if you are more like uh, more like me, who wants to make this HDR thing more of a subtle thing, where people say, "I like this image; it's very interesting," but I can't really th uh, figure out what they did, then just use a very subtle, a very little amount of this slider. Now, let me move this all the way to the right again. You have two other. Uh, sliders here. One is called softness and you will see that slider a number of times in, in this uh, tools panel here. And softness, if you move it all the way to the right, just look at that uh, intersection between the wall and the ceiling here. Now let, me, let me move this back to plus 50 to the default position. Watch what happens if I move that all the way to the right. You see that the, that area gets broader. That's what the softness slider does. It, it softens the effect by applying it to a bigger area, so to speak, okay? By feathering it out around the area where it, where it is most prominent. You can also bring that to the left and that has the opposite effect. It narrows down the effect to this very edge here and you, you get some haloing, you get some, some, edge, some um, noise back that's the effect that you get when you when you use the HDR look slider in this extreme uh, way. The boost slider gives you even more details or less if you move it to the left. And so just be very subtle about this. Maybe just a little bit of that effect. Soften it so that it's not as pronounced. Maybe tone down the boost and you can get a very still a, a rather natural looking uh, image here and if I turn that off you can see that the effect is still quite pronounced uh, but you're not going to an extreme here now the other thing and let's just let me undo all these and just for the sake of seeing that they're all at the middle position I had to dial in a positive number just to reset those sliders um, you have the HDR detail section uh, below that and when you use that and again I'm going to crank it up all the way to the right you would say well that's the same thing right it's also got a, a softness slider which essentially does the same thing it applies the effect those details the grunge details the dirtiness so to speak that you get with with many of the HDR techniques today um, it applies those to a broader area around the, 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 the general sections where you have details. Softness, putting softness in the other direction has the opposite effect. So the softness slider works basically the same. 
Now there is a difference between the HDR look and the HDR details uh, slider. It's a bit difficult to put your fingers on it. If I would uh, be asked to recommend anything, I would start with the HDR detail slider. It, it applies a more subtle, more controllable amount of details across the entire image. And it's, you can understand what it actually does in a more straightforward way. If you then like to intensify that even more, just go ahead and put in some HDR look. But just my personal, uh, my personal way of doing things here is I, I basically work with the clarity slider for the fine details, for the, for the basic clarity. And then if, it, if the image needs it, I'm going to add some, some HDR details. And if it's too much, I'll try to correct that with the smoothness slider into either direction, whatever fits the image best. I think in this case, now let me just reset that panel here and let me just start over so that I actually know where I'm going. I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity. Okay, that's without clarity, that's with clarity. It gives a little bit more crunch to the image. And I'm going to add a little bit of detail here. And I'm basically looking at the, the floor here where the, the details come out nicely. The ceiling, okay, I may, I may just uh, lower the amount of uh, HDR details, but we can look at that once we look at, at uh, layers and that. Uh, the layers concept inside Aurora HDR really nicely allows you to, to apply a, a, an effect like this only to a selected area. Mm -hmm.